Yo, so check it out guys, we're back with a brand new episode on the channel. My name is General Tony and welcome my friends to that time of the week again that every single one of us love. We are currently inside of a live clan war, guys. It is YouTube General against Alayanka. I think that's how you pronounce it. And we are about to get ourselves into our live attacks, guys. So we are number three ranked on our team. I haven't used this single live attack yet, so we might do two live attacks inside of a single video, guys. And also, no one's actually attacked me, so that's pretty awesome. But before we get ourselves into our live action, guys, I wanted to show you something because I've actually never seen this before inside of COC and to be honest with you, I forgot you could even do it. So, check it out. If you take a look at their top two players on the enemy team, guys, Ponga and Margus Sogabi, I think that's how you pronounce their names, guys. They've both got these little letters by their, uh, by their bases. You can see those little animations of those little letters. And if you actually click on them, and you click on it guys, it says claim target. I actually forgot you could do this in the game. Do me a favor guys, if you remembered you could actually do this, then leave a like on the video. Let's see who actually knew that you can claim targets inside of the game guys. Now I do remember Supercell put this into the game a couple of months ago, I just never used it. And uh, I think I'm gonna start using it from now on because it actually looks pretty damn awesome. So what are we gonna do? Target number one and two have already been claimed, and I've actually been scouting number four, guys. So we're about to get ourselves into a live attack, and hopefully we can three-star this guy's Town Hall 12. Now, he is a level five. It is a Giga Tesla. He's got a max level Inferno Tower, guys. Both Infernos are set to single target. He's got a level 54 Queen, a level 51 King, and a level 23 Grand Warden. So this dude actually has some things higher level than me. So, if you made it this far into the episode, guys, do me a favor, wish me good luck. Hopefully we can three-star. Hashtag good luck, Tony, down below in that comment section. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't, guys. We are posting videos every single day, and hopefully there is gonna be a new update out soon, so make sure you sub to the channel. So, this is the army we are gonna be using, a single archer, Five giants, nine wall breakers. I'm gonna show you why we've got nine. Five healers, four baby dragons, three minions, three witches, 14 bowlers. Our spells, one heal, three rage, two freeze, and a poison. And then we've got a wizard and six bowlers in the CC with a rage spell, a max level wall wrecker, and of course our heroes, the king and queen level 55, and the grand warden who is level 21. So, let's start off guys by actually watching the replay now. Our number two did get a 49% one star against him, guys. I'm not sure what actually went wrong, so let's go ahead and check it out and see if we can maybe do a little bit better and, fingers crossed, get a three star. So what we are looking for in this scout is basically all the air mines and air bombs, guys, because we are using healers, and it looks like it was just a couple of air mines over there. Sorry, air bombs, so that's not that serious. The Expos are reaching his Archer Queen, and he has used a Rage already, guys. So here we go, all the Bowlers and Witches coming from the southeast side of the base. He's got the Queen, who is actually in a lot of trouble. Check it out, guys. He had to use the Grand Warden and the Queen's ability, sending in the War Record just behind, guys, and you can see what actually happened here, kind of all over the place. So we're gonna see if we can maybe do a little bit better. There was a giant big bomb there. There is a Tesla trap, okay, that's interesting guys, we know there's a Tesla trap over here, so uh, we're gonna see if we can take that out, and the rest of the witches and bowlers kind of went around the outside of the base guys, and it all went south from here, so let's see if we can maybe do a little bit better, let's just go double speed to finish off the raid to see if there's any more traps, there they are, Valkyries inside of the defending clan castle, that's gonna be a little bit hard guys, so we're gonna have to see if we can take them out, so what I plan to do, let me show you. This is gonna be my plan. So, we can actually draw out this defending clan castle. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna draw it out guys and I'm gonna try and kill it with my queen. Hopefully we can actually get the job done. So what I'm gonna do, I am going to drop in one minion on this elixir collector and the workshop. We're gonna drop in another minion on the gold storage, guys, and the builder's hut. So we're gonna take out these buildings. We're gonna drop the queen 
on this gold collector, and I'm going to use the wall breakers to break through this wall. We're going to use a baby dragon to take out these two structures, guys, to stop the queen going around that side of the base, because we want the queen to come this way through these walls. We're then going to use more wall breakers to break through the second layer of walls, guys, and we're going to use a rage spell to take out all these defenses. So, whilst that is going on, we are going to be sending in the wall wrecker somewhere in this region of the base guys towards these walls down the bottom we're going to use another baby dragon just out of range of that air defense to take out these buildings guys and that should get the entire army to go into the core of the base now remember we do have a hill spell and we also have two free spells so we're going to be using those free spells on the inferno towers and also on the giga tesla we're then going to use the hill spell in the center somewhere and fingers crossed we can get a three-star, guys. So that is the plan of action. The only thing I haven't decided is whether we are going to try and kill this Tesla farm now with the Archer Queen, or should we maybe leave the Tesla farm for the rest of the troops? I'm not too sure, guys. Remember, there are also two air sweepers down the center. So that's going to be a little bit of an issue for my queen. But fingers crossed, we can get the job done. Okay, so check it out, guys. It's been about an hour, and I actually ended up getting a 75% two-star against number four. So instead of showing you a really poor attack, I figured, why don't we just go in for our second live attack, guys, where we can hopefully get a three-star this time against number three. So once again, this is a channel 12. Very similar base design to the previous one. I'm not going to walk you through the strategy, guys. We're going to go ahead and click that attack button. And uh, we are going to hopefully get that three star this time. So check out what we're going to do. I'm going to use a minion to take out that army camp. I'm going to use a baby dragon here to take out these collectors, guys. And I'm going to use another baby dragon there to take out the gold collector. Now, whilst that's going on, the queen is going to come in just behind. We are going to be clearing all those buildings. We're going to wait for the queen to distract the wizard tower. And there it is. Now we're going to send in the wall breakers, guys. And the plan here is to get our queen to kill the defending queen. And also, of course, do some more damage and strive down the right-hand side. So, is she going to go in the direction we want her to? Let's find out. She's actually dropping so many defenses right now, it's insane. We've got so many rage spells as well. So, we are going to be using another rage spell very shortly. There it goes. As the queen starts to take down these defenses, guys. Now, what we want to do... Let's just go away from the queen for a second. We now want to make sure we can get the rest of the army prepared. So we're going to be using the queen's ability on the defending king. Check this out, guys. I'm actually going to wait for the queen to take out those air larries. Still got 1 minute and 50 on the clock. And I'm going to use the final rage spell on the queen. So here goes the rest of the attack now, guys. Check this out. Here we go. Giants coming in. We are going to be dropping in the bowlers. There go the heroes and the witches, guys. So what we're going to do now, we're going to use our final baby dragon over on this side to help clear these buildings. We've got Valkyries who are ready to go into the center. I'm going to use a heal spell on these troops, guys. Try and keep as many of them alive as possible before using the Grand Warden's ability. There goes the Grand Warden's ability, saving us from that double giant big bomb, guys. And the queen has done an amazing job, but... There is now a Giga Tesla in the center, and we haven't managed to take it down, guys. Wow. Okay, so let's use the King's ability now. He's going to strive down the left-hand side. We have got the Queen, who should be able to take out the Giga Tesla on her own. We do have, of course, the Queen's ability. I'm hoping we're not going to need to use it, guys, until we get down the bottom of the base. And what we're going to do here is use the Valkyries to run into the center. So where are these Valkyries going to go if we drop them in? Okay, so we're going to let one Valkyrie. We're going to use two Valkyries on those buildings down the bottom. Let's use the Queen's ability. We're going to use a Rage Spell on the Queen. And I'm going to try and get in these Valkyries into the center, guys. Here we go. What are we up to? 82%. Do we have enough firepower to take out the rest of this base, guys? I don't think so. I think we're going to end up running out of time. I don't even know what's about to happen, guys. Check this out. The Valkyries backing up that Queen... We're up to 87. We do not have any more abilities, guys. Of course, we've used everything. We've got two measly archers. And they're going to get stuck on those buildings. The queen is going to just about take out the expo. Maybe. No, she doesn't. And that ends at 89%, guys. And it all went wrong because the wall wrecker 
didn't get us into the center. So if we actually go ahead and check out the replay, guys, check this out. If we go four times speed for the start of the raid, we've done a great job funneling that queen into the core, guys. But this is where it actually goes wrong. Check this out. Maybe I should have protected my wall wrecker with the giants and sent in the giants first, guys. Let me just show you what I mean. So the queen does her job. She takes out every single one of the buildings. And this is where it goes bad. So one time speed, if we've got that wall wrecker and protected it with the Giants a little bit better, and maybe use the Grand Warden's ability a little bit earlier, we would have been able to break through that wall, and then we would have got all these bowlers, which you're about to see, guys, which get wrecked by the Giga Tesla. They would have all gone into the center, but instead, they just got eaten alive. That's literally what this Giga Tesla can do if you don't take it out properly, guys. And for that reason, we ended up with a... Pretty damn pathetic two-star, I'm not gonna lie, guys. So instead of getting a six-pack, which is what I expected against these types of bases, poor performance has left us with an 89% and a really poor 75% two-star, guys. I'm not gonna lie, a little bit disappointed, but sometimes that is what happens. So hopefully we will do better next war, guys. Leave a like if you made it all the way to the end. Subscribe to the channel, and I will see you shortly. Have a great weekend. Peace out.